basic. I mean, I, we can go through teaching this without any understanding of really I's and J's, but I really want to make sure that you guys understand, again, the unit vectors. So let's look at a vector and to try to kind of cont um, to try to really understand what exactly the I's and J's are helping us do. So let's say we have a vector, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. All right. Now, in component form, I would write that vector, and we'll call that vector v. I would say v is equal to 5, comma, negative 3. Right? That's how we'd write it in component form. But what if I say write that as a linear combination of your standard unit vectors? Well, again, we need to go back and say, what were those standard unit vectors again? Oh, yeah, that unit circle thing. So if I have a unit circle, right, we know that our unit vectors have a magnitude of 1. And we call the one that's on the x-axis, which would be 1, comma 0, we call that i. And then up here, on the, that's going to be horizontal on the y-axis, we call that j, which is 0, comma, 1. All right. So there's your two unit vectors. So another way that we can label this vector v is uh, the sum of our unit vectors. So v is 5. So what that really means, if you look at the unit vectors, right? So here's our two unit vectors. That's j, and here's i. Correct? OK. So what I'm saying is, how many times, how could I write this vector v in our standard form? Well, how far over are we going for this vector? We're going 1i, 2i, 3i, 4i, 5i, right? So we can say v is the same thing as 5i's, all right? And then j's is, you're going to add it to, well, how many j's? Well, we're not going up j. We're going now down j, right? Down. So it's going to be negative. So it's negative 1, negative 2 negative 3. So we can really do plus a negative 3j. And then obviously, we just write that as v equals 5i minus 3j. So that's how we write a vector in our standard unit form. Thanks. And so the struggling math.